Zoomero's data grid control brings the flexibility of Xamarin Forms data binding while displaying a two-dimensional grid of your data. Supporting Android, iOS, and Windows Phone, data grid is optimized to handle large sets of data. Each column can host a different Xamarin.Forms view type bound to a property on your data object. This video will show you how to get started with Zoomero's data grid control. Here I've started Visual Studio and opened a blank Xamarin.Form solution. For the Android and iOS projects, you'll need to add the reference to the Zoomero data grid component from the Xamarin component store. For the portable class library and the Windows Phone application, you'll need to browse to reference the DLL inside the component. For each of the platform-specific startup files, call Zoomero Data Grid Component init to make sure the Data Grid renderer is loaded. Now we're ready to start adding a data grid. First, we'll define the object that we use for binding. It will have two properties, a string and a color. It also has a static method to generate a list of these objects. We'll set the app's main page to load a XAML page that we'll define to host our data grid. Now let's create that XAML page. At the top of the XAML file, include a reference to the Zoomero namespace. Our data grid will have two columns. The first column that we will create will be a label bound to the color name property. This uses the Xamarin Forms data template class. The next column will be a box view bound to the box color property. Now, bind the data grid's rows property to the list of objects. Make sure that the data grid has a XAML name so that we can reference it from code. Now let's start debugging. When the app loads, you'll see your two columns of data. Next, I'll show you how to add a header for each column. Each column has a property called header view which can be used to define the view that goes at the top. Let's see that in action. Now let's look at doing the same sample, but using code instead of XAML. Change the getMainPage function to load a new class and create it. Instantiate the data grid control and define the two columns. Each will need a data template that returns the views. Set the data grid's rows property to the list of objects. Let's see that in the debugger. Now let's add the header views. Open the debugger again. The Zoomero data grid supports other properties as well allowing you to customize the cell's width, height, and spacing. You can also add a row header, which remains visible when the data grid is scrolled horizontally. Thanks for looking at the Zoomero data grid control. If you have any questions, contact us at support at zoomero.com.